Minecraft Live 2020 just announced one of the coolest updates we could have ever hoped for. Something that the Minecraft community has been waiting for, begging for, for years and years now. We finally get a cave update. This is going to be so awesome. Let me know if you guys are hyped up. I know you are in the comment section. But also, we're not only getting caves, we're getting cliffs updated. So the snowier snow, bigger mountains is going to be amazing. But for this specific video, I got so hyped up when I found out there was gonna be a cave update that I wanted to see if I could transform a regular old Minecraft cave into something that we can expect in this cave update with the blocks we have available right now. Since we do have to wait for this update all the way down in summer of 2021, let's see if we can bring 2021 a little bit closer and build a cave update right now. On screen, a picture of what we can expect for this cave update to look like. This is awesome. These are the lush caves. We got some water features down there, a lot of greenery, a lot of bush, a lot of awesome new features that we can't really have right now, like the little glowing vines that look so, so awesome. And some custom plants and foliage down there. But with the, uh, with the stuff we have right now, with the blocks we have available right now, I think we can make something look very, very similar and get hyped up for a cave update coming next summer. Also in these caves, we're gonna get these awesome crystal geodes and it's gonna be so awesome. So I'm gonna try to replicate that as best as I can as well. You can use those crystals to make telescopes, which I just can't wait. I'm gonna be zooming in all day. Now let's get this cave transformation started. We're gonna make it look as close as possible to the lush caves we saw in the cave update picture that I showed a little earlier. So also, I'm gonna put the seed and the coordinates in the description if you guys wanna take a look at this place and transform it for yourself. Also, also, I'm gonna put a world download up for all tier two patrons of mine and all tier two YouTube supporters. So if you guys wanna take a closer look, walk around this area for yourself, I'm gonna put links in the description. So go check it out if you guys wanna join up. But let's get this started. One thing that I noticed in these lush caves is that there's a lot of greenery on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floor. So I added grass I added green concrete powder I added some green carpet and some green wool as well the vines it's a must-have we don't have the glowy one but we have the regular one so I was able to add that as well I added some mossy I added some shroom lights and I covered those shroom lights up with some green carpet as well so you can see that ambient lighting uh, and you don't see the actual shroom light popping out from the corner also grass tall grass, we got ferns, we got flowers in here as well. We also have something that I love, a little bit of stalagmites, stalactites here, just a little bit with some uh, cobblestone. Also, another thing that you notice in these walls is a little bit of dirt as well. So it's not just stone, that's the cool thing about it. We got some bushes up on the walls as well. I got slabs, I got stairs, I made it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more detailed. Also, water features in caves are gonna be the coolest thing. This is gonna be awesome because not just this little one that I made right here, I made a little pond, but there's gonna be big water systems down below. There's uh, maybe even ways to raft from one end to another. That's gonna be so, so fun. Now, the cool thing about this cave is that it's not only just a regular cave that we're transforming, we're also making this also into a cave base. That's right, a cave base. I'm gonna show you guys now when we transform that bit, but as far as the grounds itself, it's pretty much it, right? What do you guys think? It's pretty awesome. Now, a little things that I added right here. This is gonna be our little bedroom area as well. Got some hanging stalagmites, right? Stalagmites, no, stalactites. I don't even know the difference, I always forget. But also, I got some storage here on the side, and then I decided also to add a little bit of smelting on this opposite end as well. We got furnaces, blast furnaces, smokers, crafting benches, lighting in this thing. Also some hanging lights, and yes, those lanterns are swaying back and forth. We didn't notice it before, now you did. It's the, the shaders, they do great things. Now this next room right here, this was kind of difficult to come up with, because I wanted to see if I can replicate the crystal geode caves, and this was hard, because we don't have those blocks at all. Anything close, really, but I did the best I could. I added some purple glazed terracotta, some crying obsidian, some purple, some purple concrete powder, and purple concrete as well. We used this room for our brewing and also for our nether portal. I also added a little bit of that awesome coral block, the purple and the pink, just to replicate what the crystals might look like when your guys are out there in 117. This is awesome though, but I can't wait for the real thing. Now this little addition right here, we needed an enchanting room, so kept up with the theme of adding the greenery on the grounds, we added the green concrete powder, we added the moss, we added the shroom lights, I, I had a full level 30 enchanting station over here, which goes perfectly in your base, right here. We have everything you need, full level 30, we also have some hanging lights, we have some uh, shroom lights hanging on the roof, on the grounds, and it looks really 
really, really cool. Now, this cave base could have been just a seeker one. We didn't have to have an entrance. We could have maybe an easy, quick way to get down, maybe hidden in a trap door or something like that. But I wanted to make a nice entrance over here. So we got this awesome, broken, ruin-like opening right here on the side. We got slabs. We got stairs. We got some hanging lights as well. Campfire blocks on the top with some spruce trap doors as an overhang. And then I have some regular oak, uh, just logs on the inside with a regular old spruce trap door. And it's a really nice entrance. It looks really, really cool. And it's protected. So bad guys just don't get all. In. But you know what? Let's take a little bit of a tour around here and let's take a closer look. And there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and I am so hyped up for Minecraft 117, the caves and cliffs update. What do you guys think? What are you most excited for the most? What was the greatest news you saw on Minecraft Live? I think this is going to be a game changing update and I just can't wait to see more coming from Mojang. But guess what? Also, this is not the only cave update. The Lush Cave was my favorite personally, but there's also the Dripstone Cave. Here's a picture of it. I would love to make something like this right now. Do a little bit of a transformation and make a really awesome base in that type of cave. Would you like to see that? Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to. I will go ahead and do it on the very next video that I do. But for right now, I am out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Everybody who downloads this world, enjoy, walk around, have fun, explore. And thank you all so much for all the support. And hopefully, one day, we can get a girl like Bubbles right next to me. You see that girl right there? Maybe one day that'll come in one of the updates. Maybe in 117. I don't know. Let's do a petition. Hashtag bubbles for 117. Let's go. It's not too late. They're still doing stuff for summer of 2021. So maybe we can get bubbles in the game. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.